good morning YouTube. Uh, we're here at Evening Park in Preston. Uh, kettlebell and burpee workout. It's pretty early at the morning, at the moment, um, and pretty dark. One thing that I wasn't counting on today, it's frosty, so I'm going to go and get set up and yeah, without further ado, get started. So we're about to start in a minute, uh, we're just waiting for a little bit more light. Thursday morning, Thursday morning and it is freezing cold freezing cold hands are gone a little bit cold um, so today's workout is what is it so today's workout is called too much BS one from wadwell.com um, again I'll put a link below in the description of the workout but uh, it is 20 18 16 14 12 10 8 6 4 and 2 for time of kettlebell swings followed by burpees no burpees followed by kettlebell swings so you do the 20 burpees 20 kettlebell swings 18 18 all the way down so i'm gonna have a little bit of a warm-up and crack on with this yeah i think i'm as warm as i'm ever gonna be now uh, so i'm just gonna crack on but so the the equipment needed for this is kettlebell which we got down here um, Twenty-four kilograms, and we're going to go with American uh, American kettlebell swings. So that's overhead. Um, with this one, remember nice solid foundation, little bend in the knees, uh, brace the back, engage the core, and control the movement throughout. Lock out overhead. Simple enough, isn't it? Time is on. I'm going to set our, uh, set on one minute. Uh, time to take this. I don't know, should be under 10, um, 8, maybe a little bit optimistic, maybe not. So, tactics, steady away for 2018, 16 and 14 and then probably pick up the pace from, from there. So, 30 seconds, we'll get started. Perfectly right now, what I'm going to do for the next 8 weeks, I'm going to do one, I'm going to create a little ritual. I'm going to do one thing a day to condition my mind. Right, so that I get strong, so I follow through. I'm gonna read something, I'm gonna listen to something, I'm gonna immerse myself, I'm gonna go for an intense jog, or I'm gonna go lift weights, but I'm gonna do it consciously to get in a state where I'm gonna follow through. That's number one, because people follow through when they're in state. Second, I'm gonna get clear about why this is a must for me. Not because my back's against the wall, but because I wanna master an area of life that could create some freedom. I'm not gonna master it overnight, but I got the system, I got the plan. I'm gonna do one thing a day, I'm gonna work on one subject a week. And each week I'm gonna make a little progress and I'm gonna to get to a goal, whatever that is. I'm gonna make a thousand bucks, my 300 bucks in a week. I'm gonna to get to my 2,500. That first 2,500 is the most excited. Once you break through, then it just becomes a game. The breakthrough happens by conditioning your mind every day, by feeding it a role model or a story. It's putting yourself in a peak state and you fall through by getting physically strong. It's creating a little ritual of doing a little bit each day and then you get momentum. The most important thing of all, why? Why is it a must for you? It doesn't have to be you're against the wall, but it has to be something you're hungry for because the only difference in people is hunger. And if you're not hungry, get around people that are hungry and something will hit you. So people can change their standard by getting around where it's better. People can change their standard by getting associated with what's true, like the bills they gotta solve, the problems they gotta do it. Or they can do it because they're excited because it's something new they wanna take on. Everyone's different, but they gotta find the why and they gotta come up with some daily rituals to get them going and just do a step at a time. That's where you get momentum. So, you know, think about what's the holy grail between somebody taking action or not? It's one word, certainty. When somebody is absolutely certain, they, you know, the common word is believe, right? But, you know, you can believe at a general level or you can believe with certain. When you're absolutely certain that if I do this, it's gonna get that result and that result's gonna change my life, you'll do it. When you think it absolutely is not gonna work, you're never gonna do it. The middle no man's land of maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, that's the piece that kills people, right? So if it's a must for you, you got to make it work. 
They came up with this model. It's like the holy grail of belief, or the holy grail of momentum. It's like the difference between what makes the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, right? And the difference we all know is mindset, but like how... Workout finished, too much BS, a couplet of burpees and kettlebell swings. A uh, good little, good little workout that. Definitely took more than 10 minutes. Uh, I think we came in in the end in I think it was 16, 17 minutes. So tough, tricky little couplet. Burpees, obviously a gassy, just going straight in um, on 20, and then and then the kettlebell swings. Uh, and again, Americans, so they're going, they're going overhead. But good workout. Give it a try. You need limited equipment. If you've only got a dumbbell, just do the just do the swings with a dumbbell. So yeah, good workout overall. Um, beautiful. How's that built? You think about the first thing that determines whether you can do something or not, and it's potential. Like, what's the potential of a human being? For golly knows how many centuries they're trying to run a four-minute mile. Roger Bannister does it. How did he do it? Do you remember? Roger Bannister didn't just go physically practice. He made a shift in his head. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Another episode of Resolute Fitness uh, here in Preston, Avenham Park. If you can, smash the like button and subscribe. Uh, it helps the channel massively. Thank you very much. See you next time.